That is a good night. I haven't seen I'm back in another video. This is the first time you see my face on your screen. Make sure you guys go ahead and click the subscribe button, smash the like button, turn the bell notification on, show me anything I post, and last one is be part of them. Go ahead, go back up right now and give this video a like. Make sure you guys go and watch my recent videos, guys. Watch my videos in full. Help me with my watch time hours. My hair looking a mess today because I didn't feel like doing anything. I just put a scarf on. That was it. But yeah, um, make sure you guys um, subscribe to my other two channels, The Daughter of Israel and the and Life of Sanaya. Go subscribe to those. I will be posting on there. I know I said there should have been a video on the Daughter of Israel channel, but I will be putting out a video on there. So stay subscribed. Turn your bell on over there and all that, all that good stuff. And my eyeliner is looking bad today. Like, this one wants to come out this way, this one wants to come out this way. So, excuse my eyeliner today, guys. I don't know what, what, what I was doing, honestly. But anyways, um, I'm finally doing another movie review. It's been so long since I've done a movie review on my channel. But I managed to see the new Milan movie. I, I watched it for free though. I wasn't about to pay for that. <laughs> I see someone paid thirty dollars for that. I'm like, mm, no, not paying for that, boo boo. Not paying thirty dollars for that. The most I pay for movies is fifteen. Unless it's AMC theater, I can understand the prices a bit higher. I can understand that. I would pay that. But um, I have to say first of all, I loved it. And now I know. A lot of people didn't like the movie because of specific reasons. But me personally, yes, I was kind of disappointed with certain things not being in there. But I still enjoyed the movie, even though they changed it. So I personally give the movie a 5 star. I know some people will give it lower than that. But I really believe that Disney was more trying to recreate the original live action Mulan movie. So if y'all don't know, there is original live action Mulan movie. I'm gonna show it right here if I remember. Um, I think they was basically recreating that movie. I don't think that they was looking at Mulan to recreate the cartoon at the at the cartoon version. Um, so there's no Mushu in there. There's no cricket. Um. Even the guy, I forgot his name, even the guy that she ends up liking and being with, he's not there either. Um, so yeah, so how different is the movie from the cartoon? Off the bat, Mulan has a sister. Yeah, I know in a cartoon, Mulan does not have a sister. So they replace the sister with the grandma. I mean, they replace the grandma with the sister. So she has no grandma in there. She has a sister. Um... The part where Mulan takes her father's place to go into the war, um, Mulan does not cut her hair. She just ties it in a bun. You know, in the cartoon version, she cuts her hair and then ties it into the bun. The movie version, she does not cut her hair. Um, what else is different? Oh, so the guy that, you know, the after, the, the guy that's after the emperor basically. He also has someone else working for him, which is a woman, which that's a definitely new character into the movie. Um, so turns out like the bird that you would see in the cartoon um, that be on the guy's shoulder, that bird actually turns into a girl in the movie. So yeah, that, that was a big twist right there. Um, why does my face look so light? Like, I don't know why my face looks so light. I put, like, I can't with my face. But I guess, okay. Anyways, um, so, what else happened? <sighs> oh, yeah. So, since there was no cricket, when Mulan was, um, I don't forget what the place was. She was at the place where they put all that makeup on her face. Um, so... Another different thing is her sister is scared of spiders and um, instead of there being the cricket like in the cartoon that mess up everything, there's a spider in place of that that messes up everything in there and that's when they say uh, Mulan is a dis like being dishonored to her family and all that other stuff. Um, another thing is the, the part where she actually takes a bath shower whatever it's called that she that they do um in the cartoon version you had mulan jumped into the water and 
a whole bunch of the guys who just jumped in too. This time it was just Mulan and that one soldier there with her that I I would say it was kind of close. I mean, he looked like he was the most closest to her than the other guys. So he was there and like in a cartoon version, um they the guys would usually stay in the water for that long and for a long time and talking to Mulan, but this one Mulan tells him to go away and he actually does go away so yeah that that was a different part right there and before she actually does go and take a bath um she didn't shower for like a couple of days and they kept telling her that she stank basically so um yeah that that was a definitely a different thing right there um also when she First got to the camp, I think it's called the camp. Um when she actually fell down the floor, um she raised her sword at the guy and the guy raised raised his sword at her too. In a cartoon version you don't have that. You mostly like basically the three those three guys that you know she mostly hangs around with in the cartoon version is not really like that in the movie version. She more hangs up with one of them particularly, like mostly talks to one of them. Um, but overall, I did love the movie. Like I said, I felt like the movie was good. I know a lot of people are disappointed about certain things in there. But like I said, I feel like Disney was not reaching to do it exactly the same as the cartoon. It was more reaching to do it like the original live action Mulan. Um, what else happened? There's something else I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So, in the cartoon you have where... When Mulan gets hurt, that's how they found that she was a girl. Um, in this version, you have Mulan fighting, you know, that new character, which is the new girl in there. And she gets something thrown onto her chest, but she doesn't really, there's no blood, like nothing, which is weird to me. Right there, she decided to expose herself that she was basically a girl. And I'm like, wow, that's that's a twist because that's very different. And turns out, like, the girl, the new character, um, it looks like she was trying to persuade M Mulan to be on her side. And you can kind of see, like, deep down inside, that girl, she felt really bad about what she was doing. And she felt like she wasn't... Basically, she felt dishonored, like, no one could accept her anymore because it's too late now, because, by the way, she ended up dying, too. Um, and now the part where you get to the Emperor, um, the Emperor was supposed to be at that place, you know, in the cartoon, where they was, like, having a party, there was fireworks, there was a lot of people. In the movie, there wasn't nobody there, and, um, the Emperor was elsewhere, like, he got captured elsewhere, and that's where Mulan saved him. But I honestly think, though, that if you haven't seen this movie, you should definitely watch it. Because, I mean, it's on Disney Plus, I know for sure. And Disney Plus, you gotta pay a subscription for that. But I managed to watch it for free. I watched it on Solo Movie. So that's how I got to see it. But I like it, like I said. I think it's worth watching. I feel like if you watch the original Life Action Mulan, you will understand probably why the Disney version like that. But I do also understand that since it's a Disney movie, it's their own Disney version, they should have made it like the cartoon. Because when you have Cinderella, Snow White, Aladdin, they made it similar to the cartoon. Yes, they probably add a little bit of different stuff in there, but they make sure they made sure to put whatever in the cartoon in there, you know. But I guess they want to be different with Mulan. I know they're making um a live action of The Little Mermaid. I hope it's the same like the cartoon, but who knows? It might not be because, you know, with these live action versions, they never the same as the cartoon half the time. And that I don't mind. I mean, I like to see something different, something new. But, um, yeah, if you have seen the movie yourself, let me know what you think about it. What what do you rate it? I rate it a five star. What do you rate it? Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I... 
pretty much said a lot spoiled a lot <laughs> if you didn't see it sorry um but that's definitely a movie i would watch again like i like it straight up like it but yeah guys hope you guys enjoyed this video give this video a thumbs up comment down below subscribe if you're new click the bell notification if you haven't find me on my social medias it's in the description box down below and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video oh yeah um all my all my recent videos gonna be in the cards until the end of the video so yeah I'll see ya in the next video. Alright guys, so one thing I forgot to mention, Mulan does not sing in the movie. Like how she sings in the cartoon, but she does not sing in the movie. So that's one thing I forgot to mention. See, anytime I do these videos, I always forget something. Like, But yeah, that's what I wanted to say. So yeah.